What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory Update 7, this is episode 45 If you guys enjoying the series so far If you guys missed last episode, I have a card up above where you guys can see the last episode uh, Last episode we had added this train station to the line that we are going up to the quartz mine uh, This train station is now dropping off the materials that we need to create explosive rebar we already have rebar being produced this episode we're gonna run around we're gonna um, build a second floor of this start uh the production of explosive rebar and do some further um research into the sulfur tree in the mom so first of all i have to run down to the really high put tube connection back to the main base as you can see the train is now coming up and into the quartz mine I'll go up to the quartzman and then come to the station and drop off the uh it drops off steel pipes and small glass black powder what we which we added two episodes ago and then back up to the main base a bit of lag there i have no idea why just in case you guys were wondering this episode has been recorded on wednesday the 29th of march you guys on youtube would be able to see it on saturday uh patreon or john should get access to it either wednesday or tuesday not sure based on how um, time i have to edit uh, yeah, we came back up here to get some concrete Which I would have continued building this last episode, but we ran out of concrete yeah. uh, If you guys hear the dog in the background I don't know why he's... Yeah. Okay, so we need new concrete to build the walls. Um but in top floor we're gonna need manufacturers because it takes three stuff to make the explosive for your body. So let's we'll see what we're gonna need to do that. Build those. I'm gonna go with at least two. It's like a good number. We have almost enough things to do that. We just need some more, a little more heavy modular frames, which is right over here. Jump this. Right in the straight station, truck station here. Cool. And we have enough to build the. Uh, uh, why we are here, as you saw, the plastic has minor issue with the plastic right now uh it's just an issue with how i routed the containers right you can fix that easily by using an output Okay. I'm going to use that output. Rough enough to do this. Connect, you idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god game. Wait, that's an input. 
That's why I wasn't connected. I'm an idiot. This is the other person on the other side, which is then going over to that one. It's then going over to this one. I can take from the last one. See, no. Let's fix this here. I don't know if I have enough for this, but... What should I do? I connect it up there? Yep. Ah, oh, wrong container. Wrong container. Frick in hell, man. The friggin' wrong container. That's a rubber container. It's the one on the other side. stop now I have to go and find each end of the plastic line to remove the accidental rubber that we are there's one on you have plastic okay so this one is why is it idle because it's full okay that's why that's why this one is not putting it. So the one upstairs is the one I should check. Make sure that there's no accidental rubber that I may have dropped on the line. this mark cool. Alright, there's some minor fixes I was doing the fix thing if I head back down to build that on top of that base. to the computer production on the way over Justin. Alright, so that's done for the plastics. Minor adjustment of where the belts will connect in. I think we have a crap ton of plastic in, but that's why I have so much containers. Uh, let's head back down and start building. Since I have everything I need, let's head back and start building the uh, Top floor of that.
Okay, for the YouTube audience, welcome back from the build montage session of me building that uh, explosive rebar factory production. I want to shut George, but no, that's that's too wicked. Let's see. If, ah, there's some guys to fight. We're just gonna test out the explosive rebar. These guys up here. Oh my god, that's so overboard. We have long range explosives. Whoops. Rip. Oh, this is making it so much better. Holy shit. I have explosive rebar. And it's automated. Now let me pick up these um, alien organs to make some DNA points for the. Yeah, well, no, I'm in the ground, but whatever. Texture collision glitch there. I hear a spider, but I don't know where he is. Is he possibly below me? I wonder if we can use the rebar, the exclusive rebar, to blow up those rocks that needs exclusive. I can remember away somewhere. Oh, there's some. Hm. That's what I was looking for. We can test this out now. Who is that? Hi. Hi, please. Wow, this um, explosive rebar is way overpowered right now. Like, whoa. When you have formal, let's see if this, ex this works. Okay, so it does. So instead of using the... Exclusive, you can use the exclusive rebar. Oh, so I'll jet back on. So, uh, just that I have to reload. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna be stuck in the corner there. Rip. This one's stuck right in the wall there. Apparently still alive. That's weird. Okay, I need to go reload on... Reba. Oh. I'm, I have to test this since we're already here. I have one more Reba. Let's test. Can I use this to get rid of the poison flowers from a distance? Artist. Oh my god, that's loud. You frick, really? This one more is for you. Ready for it? Contract legally compels you to harvest. Oh, that I missed. I missed. I missed. And that was my last shot, so... Yikes. And now to get back up. Oh, two hours, uh... Now to get back up top, we're gonna run across to the... Uh, back to the main base. I'm gonna first pick up some explosive rebuff from the factory. I just used the, the 10 that I had on me. Experimenting. Then we're gonna run back to the factory, the main factory, and 
add the resource sink to the end of that production line that you made that so use up the byproduct of fuel which is the polymer resin just get back there it's the oil pipeline Run up to the tower and get a terminal quick because I'm not gonna come back down here after I finish recording. Let's just get this terminal quick. Every bar gone. And we're gonna set up the resource thing down there and then we're gonna wrap up the episode. Uh this episode is gonna be a bit of a shorter one than usual. We're gonna be like 20 to 15 minutes now. 15 to 20, somewhere around there. That's if I don't find something else to do. Yeah, go check and see if we have any other thing that we can optimize slightly. down here we have the oil coming in and turning into fuel there's a byproduct of polymer resin the awesome sink Oh my god, if I can do this, this is gonna be so freaking weird. Come on. Would have been a perfect spot to put that. I'm gonna find a spot. Doesn't interfere with any of my truck line. down here I can rest it right yeah I shouldn't interfere with the truck line no okay we're yeah, gonna take And that container has already been backed up. Um, I may need to go get
And I got um, some more infos. Inertia beams. Down to the steel, well, take the hyperloop connection down to this new factory to get that. Come back up and upgrade that, and then we're gonna wrap up the episode. See, a factory connection is on the first floor. That explosive rebar gun is very loud. Let's just put it that way. Loud as hell. Right, we know how to go up to the good. As I'm here, I just thought of something that most of you guys are gonna want to figure out. Can you damage yourself with the explosive rebar? Okay, that's that. I think I did. Yeah, I did. My health went down a little. Like half health. So... It's freaking overpowered. You can kill yourself easily with us. Don't. You'd regret it. I'm here for the reinforced iron. Industrial beams, which we are out of because we don't have steel. Well, we found something to optimize, and we don't have steel because we don't have coal. Because I put the coal on the train line. Oof, rip, Peroni. He has a coal coming down and it's bad enough to go and do its business. Okay, so I should not have put the coal on a friggin' train. Is it the fact that the coal is not producing that much? The train has a uh, large amount of storage. I see what it is. Those belts need to be upgraded. Okay. to make uh, three and four belts oh. this is backfiring on me the problem here is the coal is not getting to the um, storage container fast enough so pull it up enough that it transfers fast it's not the fact that it's on a train, it's the fact that the belts are Mark 1 belts.
You have to downgrade some belt. No, my belts may need to be downgraded. Who the frick? Really? Oh, I missed. Nice. Are you scared now? Should be. Alright, so solve that, we have to downgrade something back down to, at least for now, downgrade something down to Mark 1. That we have at Mark 4. Just have to clear that rock from there. I think the best thing to downgrade right now is going to be a portion of this line here. get the production back up to the standard that we can get hey i'm out of steel please I just want to the iron tree here. Some iron bits. This is the rubber line, which we're not using much rubber right now, so it doesn't make sense having this line. At least for the moment, having that line at Mark 4 belts doesn't really make much sense. Why am I stuck in there? Alright, did I leave my explorer? Why did I leave my explorer? Yeah, I'll leave it at the main base. Just wonder. I'm not gonna walk back to the mine. Let's grab the explorer, go back to the mine, upgrade those belts so that the coal can get into the shock the train station faster than it's currently been. But by the time the train gets there, there's a little amount of coal in the train station for it to even pick up. So, well, damn. Let's go for that. Whoa, watch out for the train. This is enough to upgrade. Yep. 
This is a Mark II. It's not even overclocked yet. Already running that fast. Let me make some more fucking stuff very quick. I did pick up three bar sounds earlier. It's gonna be so hard. Point one seconds. Oh, the belt can't even keep up with the amount that's been produced. The train is picking up right now. Because it's already at 100, almost at 200 already. Train just left. So the issue was the belts. Uh, I should solve a little bit of the steel issue because he wasn't getting the proper loaded into the train station in time for it to be transported across. Alright, that's gonna be it for this episode as you saw I already took the thumbnail so you guys already know what the thumbnail is at. Well obviously you guys would already know that. Weird statement there, but whatever. You're not going to. Whoa, almost got knocked over by the tree. Um, I'm just gonna put this back up to the main base. At least I need it for something later on. Uh, yeah, next episode we are going to focus on some stuff in the sulfur tree of the research ma'am let's see what we have here next episode we're going to focus on unlocking this gun the rifle and then we're gonna I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen unlock the rifle explosive wait that's not explosive that's turbo Rifle ammo. Apparently that's faster. Harvest. So next episode we're gonna unlock this, automate the rifle ammo production down at the weapon station. Which needs smokeless. You are so lucky that you found know. this most valuable artifact. That is oh my god, do I really have to look it up? I spelled that wrong. Fix it personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Wait, can I really not look it up? Whatever, that's what we're gonna look up for next episode. The rifle. Apparently, if you don't have it unlocked, you can't search it in the encyclopedia. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do next episode. If you guys enjoying the series so far if you guys want to see more satisfactory on the series on the channel feel free to drop a like at that subscribe click on the bell icon to get notified when satisfactory videos are released uh which is every saturdays at 10 a.m est and that's me wrapping up the episode uh 
Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Well, that was a delayed boom. Harvest.